everybody, it's Wednesday night, which means it's Wellness Wednesday. Um, I just got done teaching a workshop, and so I thought, you know, I'm still gonna pop on tonight and share a live with you guys because who doesn't love Wellness Wednesday? Show me some love if you are loving today. All right, so um, first of all, I'm wearing my Bill Weaver music shirt. If you don't have one of these guys, you definitely need to get one. So I'm just sharing the Bill Weaver love tonight. But I'm coming on to share with you guys a really important thing that you can do right from the driver's seat. Hey Taylor, thanks for tuning in. And maybe you've never heard anybody talk about this before, but I'm gonna show you some things that you can do to help your lymphatic system. This is really important, especially for truck drivers, because you are spending such a long amount of time sitting. Hey, it's good to see you tonight, Taylor. Well, not really see you, but actually see that you're on. Um, okay, <laughs> anyways. I wanna share with you guys a little bit that you can do to help support your lymphatic system. If you're like, Hope, what the heck are you talking about? The lymphatic system is a really important system in our body and it doesn't have an automatic pump. It doesn't work on its own. We kind of help it work and why it's important for truck drivers to know about it and to help be able to support it is because you're sitting all day. And so when you're sitting, one of the biggest things when it comes to the lymphatic system is we start feeling swelling in the ankles. So if you're like, oh yeah, I definitely have that, or you start to get that kind of restless leg feeling, this is a really important key marker that you wanna pay attention to, and it's time that you start moving fluids from your lower body back up again. So if you've ever heard of the lymphatic system, it's really important, and we often look at it as the sanitation system, or the plumbing of the body that carries and filters poisonous waste products from every cell, every organ, and every tissue of our body. So if you're like, uh, this doesn't apply to me, unless you want to have an infection and not be able to heal from it, or you've ever had that problem, your lymphatic system is probably not working correctly. If you struggle with a lot of headaches, like I said, water retention, bloating, um, swelling, anything like that, you may be struggling with the lymphatic system. And this is a really easy fix. This requires you not to have to be able to run a marathon. This doesn't require you to work out every day. It just requires you to move a little bit. So there's lots of ways that you can work your lymphatic system. I'm gonna show you one way today, but there are tons of ways. So you're driving all day, you're sitting all day, your lower body isn't doing a whole lot of movement. So when we live in a lifestyle that we're constantly squatting and standing and moving our legs around, we're essentially pumping our tissues or expanding and contracting on our tissues, which moves fluid through. Equally as much, when we contract on our calf muscles, it actually is the hydraulic pump that pumps blood flow back up to our heart. So it's another important thing, but when you're driving a truck or you're driving anything or you're sitting on an airplane, it can't always be the easiest to get up and move around. So what can you do in the driver's seat of your truck to help the lymphatic system, to help this plumbing system of our body to move waste, to move debris out of our tissues and out of our body essentially. Well, when you're sitting in the driver's seat, one of the easiest things is rolling the ankles. Okay, if I'm gonna move a little closer, sometimes those comments on the bottom like cut me off. So rolling your ankles. So when you're driving, can you roll your ankles a few times each way? Okay, not only is it good for the joint, but it's gonna to start to get some of that lymph moving again. Equally as much, can you contract or compress the calf and the hamstring together, and then equally as much, straighten out the leg? Now, obviously, if you're driving, I'm not gonna say, hey, grab the leg, but what about just straightening out the leg as much as you can, and then equally pulling your leg in as tightly as you can to your seat, or even up a little bit, bringing the knee into the sky and doing that a few times on each leg, okay? Not complicated, okay? We don't need to complicate this more than it needs to be. Another thing that you can do is do running in place in the driver's seat. Maybe you're parked, maybe you're waiting to unload or load, maybe you're on cruise control. Whatever it is, doing a little bit of almost artificial rebounding, so like a trampoline, that bouncing effect helps keep our lymphatic system really healthy. So you don't need to jump on a trampoline, you can just pretend to do it right in the truck seat to get the lymphatic system resetting and rebooting. Again, if you struggle with infection, 
If you constantly feel like you're sick all the time, you have bloating, you have swelling, also called lymphedema, anything like that, that could be a sign that you have to take care of this really important system in the body. This system of the body is also heavily interwoven with a lot of the other systems in the body. Do you struggle with high blood pressure? Do you have a lot of muscle aches and pains? Does your back always hurt? This is something that we want to start looking at. And the biggest thing that we can do to help with that is one, just get up and move more. So when you're not driving, this whole idea of squatting down, okay, we're compressing the tissues, moving our legs around, lifting and lowering our knees, stretching, light walking, all of these things play into this really important system in the body. In addition to drinking enough water, having a good balanced diet, eating things like seeds and nuts, those types of things all play into massage, okay? All of those things play into a healthier lymphatic system, which essentially is having better plumbing in your body. Have you ever heard of lymphedema, that swelling? That system in your body is backed up. It's like the garbage man not coming to pick up your garbage for like 10 weeks in a row. What would happen? The garbage bags pile up and start blocking your driveway. The same thing can happen in our body. And we notice it a lot in our lower body because we sit. You don't have to be a truck driver to suffer from the syndrome of sitting too much. And then all of a sudden, our lower body is not communicating effectively with the rest of our body. Again, so what can we do? Roll the ankles daily, as often as you can. This is not something that takes any extra effort. I'm not asking you to change anything about your lifestyle other than roll your ankles. Secondly, can I compress the calf to the hamstring? Make, make a muscle, tighten that muscle, and then straighten the leg as much as I can. You could also do that laying down in the sleeper. Can I do a little fake rebounding, almost like a running in place bonus, you're gonna get some good core workout from that, to start to bring that lymphatic system back into play, to get that hydraulic pump working again, which also is gonna positively affect your circulatory system because the calf is the hydraulic pump for the heart of the lower body. When you're sitting all day, how is that blood flow getting back up to your heart? Now, I know this might seem like, yeah, big deal, but if you want a body to keep working for you as you get older, just like you maintenance your truck, you have to start maintenancing your body. You are not invincible and neither is your truck. So let's start implementing some of these little techniques and tricks so that we can preserve and protect our body. Because I want you on the road for as long as you possibly can, living the best life that you possibly can. And we have to start maintenancing ourselves to do that. You could equally as much do the same thing in the upper body. We've all heard of swollen lymph nodes in the chest or in the armpit. Well, if you never reach up overhead, you never make a muscle, you never compress and open, stretch, that part of the lymphatic system is also not gonna work. Getting a lot of headaches. Is the channel in the neck tight and tense? That part of the lymphatic system is not draining properly. This is why massage therapy and more of a light touch massage is so beneficial because we're trying to get that lymph moving again and circulating again and getting all of the waste product out of our organs, out of our tissues and out of our cells. So I don't know if you've ever heard of the lymphatic system. I can't read the comments from all that far back. Uh, super interesting. I know, isn't it? And it's super easy to do. You can do it anywhere. These are basic things. What the hell are you talking about? I know, right? Right, Taylor? What I'm talking about is taking better care of your body. That is what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a system in the body that exists that you may never have heard anything about and that is either silently suffering or is successfully working. If you had a hose on your truck that was clogged, what would you do? You would unclog it. You would pull into a mechanic or fix it yourself, whichever, and take care of that. The same thing goes in our physical body. So there's a system called the lymphatic system. It is the sanitation system of our body. 
It cleans out all of the crap and junk that we take in through our environment, through our food, through not doing anything, just like pipes getting all backed up and gunked up, the same thing happens in our body, we have to take care of it. So you can think I'm crazy all you want, you can think this is dumb all you want, but I'll tell you what, if you wanna live healthy into your 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, heck, into your 40s, into your 30s, we have to start moving more. And it doesn't need to be extreme movement, but we have to start moving because that, my friends, is how your body works the best, is when you're compressing and contracting and moving and twisting and squatting and reaching and bending. This affects all the systems in our body. And tonight we're talking about the lymphatic system. So if you don't want to be a big old backed up garbage disposal, start thinking about implementing these types of things into your driving routine. Rolling the ankles, rolling the wrists, compressing the calf and hamstring and straightening the leg, running in place almost as though your toes are bouncing off a trampoline, even folding and extending. All of these basic things, you might not think they're very fancy, but your body is heavily thanking you. If you get swollen ankles after sitting all day or after driving all day, that is one of the biggest signs that a system in your body called the lymphatic system is not working properly. All right, that's what I got for you tonight. Try it, see how you like it. I'm not asking you to change anything else other than adding in one, two, or three simple, easy movements into your day to better combat some of the effects of long-term sitting and driving to help preserve and protect your body for many years to come. All right, guys, until next time, get your Bill Weaver shirt over at Bill Weaver's Music. And don't forget to share out this video and let other people know that they can take care of the lymphatic system in as simple as one, two, or three easy moves. All right, until next time, have a great night, guys.